right. Hello, guys. Take off my glasses. It's too, too close. Hi, guys. How you doing? God bless you. Let me go and put the camera here a bit. So, this is Emily Mo, Emmy to many, everyone just calls me Emmy, um, and I am a professional tarot reader. And this video is to give you some tips on how to become a, ta a better tarot reader for beginners. Um, I have been reading since 11 years old, and I'm 31, 32 right now, so it's a good amount of time. And... The tarot cards wasn't my first divination too. It was the coffee cup. So it took some time to readjust and get used to these methods. And this is what has worked for me and hopefully it will work for you. So these are my tarot tips guys. Um, hopefully it will help you. I even wrote things out today. Yes I did, I wrote things out. Cause I wanna help you. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of emails or messages of, about this and I don't teach so I decided to do a YouTube video on some tips. So the first thing is choosing your tarot deck. Very important, very important. Your tarot deck is where you're, you're channeling divine energy and these are your tools to reveal things to your the, the seeker, the sitter, um, anyone you're giving a reading for, even yourself, all right? So they're very sacred. These are your sacred tools, your tarot deck. Um, and the first thing that I need to say is importance is choose one where the minor cards are picturized, all right? Let me explain myself, all right? So this is the right away and this is the deck and the minors, they all have pictures. Um, when you look at the two of coins right there, you could tell that he's juggling something. You don't need to look in that little white book to understand that. You look at the picture and you're like, I wonder what this means. And you come up with your own interpretations, all right? It makes it easier to kind of, to put things in perspective, all right? So then when you read the information, um, and then you have your own, your own keywords of what you think it's, it means to yourself and you look at the picture it all connects like that really quickly now what I'm saying that you need um, it's really helpful to get a tarot deck that has picturized minors is because some of them do not have that this is this deck this is one of my favorite decks is checks all right so we have this this is the nine of cups if you do not know anything about tarot do you tell me you're gonna know what the nine of cups mean it's hard. <laughs> it is really hard. Um, so these are the old school ones. I love them. But first, learn um, the tarot cards before you really get into um, the ones that are not picturized. All right. Another thing. I love Doreen Virtue. I love her. She's such an amazing woman. And she call her the angel lady. All right. This is her tarot deck. But... She's really popular. Guys, I need to say, stay away from Doreen Virtue's um, tarot deck um, if you're just beginning because it's really hard to get the information from the pictures. All right, five of coins. It doesn't, oh, I got a glare there. It doesn't show the meaning. I mean, this one, five of coins, all right? So surrounded, fear surrounding money. Five of earth. And it doesn't really look um, that it shows fears about money or surrounding money. You want to be able to connect, all right? And that's the whole point. Um, and there's a lot of angels. If you don't know about the angels as well, it might throw you off. It might get you confused. So make things really simple for you. This is a good deck when you already have the, a good flow of your tarot and... You know what it means, all right? So stay away from that for your first one, too. Um, so that's my first advice about choosing a tarot. Get the writer. The other, my other advice, oh my goodness. My other uh, advice is say study your tarot cards. So each tarot card, I wish I had my book. Each tarot card, you should have at least two to three keywords for each tarot card, all right? There's 78 tarot cards. 
let's just first work on them upright leave the reversals alone in the beginning you could go into that you know later on but to make things more easier for you so you can really learn stick to learning them upright the meanings upright and I at least have two to three keywords for each one let me explain so it's my tarot deck shuffling all right eight of cups um my key word for this is divorce walking away leaving all right so those are my three keywords for this. This is what I, I see, this is what I feel, this is what I know for that, all right? So you take every card, it's gonna take a process, and you write them down in your notebook. I have my notebook somewhere. I have my first notebook. I left it on the steps. <laughs> but you take a, a regular notebook, and you go through the tarot deck, and you write three keywords, two or three keywords of what they each mean to you upright. You know, make it simple, all right? It allows you to really connect with the cards. Um, if you meditate on them and you really look at them, it allows you to really, really connect with them and then you write them down and it kind of gets stores in your memory, all right? Um, and it's easier to memorize things that way too. Um, and I said writing in a book. I also, this is one of the first, tarot books I learned tarot and gotta look at this book <laughs> oh my goodness oh yes this is one of my first tarot books and I am showing you guys it's a little workbook <laughs> it looks oh, pretty old right oh man but I will never I got my etch and sketch here it's all written in I really worked through this book um but I also will recommend buying a book on tarot. That's, of course, look. And I highlight it, all right? I'm going to recommend this book because it was one of my first ones. And I don't, you know, it's just special to me. <laughs> tarot in 10 minutes. In the back of it, it has, it has an explanation of every card. And I highlighted the first, um, oh man, this is just bringing memories. I, highlight, I highlighted what the cards meant and key words and key things that stuck out from them. And it has sections, what the card means of work, what the card means of love, what the card means of money, and what the card means of strategy, all right? Another good book also that I recommend is this one and this is a fairly new book I did a video on this one and it's because it breaks down each card and is about symbolism and focuses on the symbolism of every card so you know what the staff means you know what the cups means as well all right so it, it gets you a closer connection to the, the tarot card rather than just its meaning. It's like, why does it mean this, all right? So this book does that. It's, it breaks down the picture of every card and its meaning and its symbolism. So this will really help you to familiarize yourself with the card and just find out more in depth of why it means the, the things it means. Once you know why, you can see um, the tarot in even a bigger scope. It means something more, it's more in depth. You know, it has more meaning, you know. So when people ask different questions, um, different things kind of pop up, all right? So that's another thing I have here. Look, I'm going down my checklist. I'm doing well. Um, use small spreads in tarot reading. Now, the three-card reading, let's just get... I got a lot of stuff here on my little couch today. The three card spread um, works best. So if you're just beginning, you don't want to do this big Celtic cross. It's just too elaborate and you're going to just really get confused. Stick to something small. Stick to something really tiny. You know, you first need to get used to this. You, you need to learn how to crawl before you walk, before you run. All right. So take it like that. Take it each by steps. Um, 
So, a three card spread is my go-to spread to make everything, you know, for quick answers, all right? Um, so I, I draw the cards, so I draw three, and I use my middle card as the focus answer, all right? So whatever the question was, it's like growth. Invest into it. It's, it's gonna put, you need to put more time and investment into it. See how I threw in those keywords, all right? And I use these two cards as influence cards, all right? Um, invest well. Here goes my keywords. Work. All right. Work into things. Time. Creating things. And this one is another influence card. Leaving. All right. So you will put all those into a sentence and, um, and it will give you your answer. All right. So this will be your immediate one. And these will be influence cards on the answer. Like why, when or your hows, all right? So you stick with one method. If you keep putting yourself into trying to read in a thousand methods, you're gonna get confused. You need to really keep it simple, all right? Another thing, um, one more really important thing that's really gonna help you with the tarot is learning the elements, okay? So we have coins, we have wands and swords, all right? Um, you need to, you need to take the elements, like fire for me is the wands. Um, you need to take the elements and know what they mean, all right? Because the tarot is, is broken up into five sections. You got the minor, the, the majors, then you have, um, you have the minors, and then you have the swords. You also have the wands. All right, swords is everything about the mind and thinking and logic. All right, so when you think and problems, right, and strategies. So all of that of the swords, you have to kind of think about. That's what it kind of generally means. These are the problems. These are what those cards mean there too. Then you have the coins. All right, um, and it's about money and health. Money and health. I'm speaking a lot here, um, and then we have. The wands, all right? The wands is about um, artisticness, creation, drive, fire, you know, sex, things like that stuff, passion, things that drive you. And then we always have, of course, the cups. Everyone loves loves. Everything emotion. So you need to learn the elements and what those things mean. And then you familiarize yourself more with the tarot once you know those elements, okay? So really paying close to mind to that. Learn those before you really get started and get in depth into the tarot. And things will even look make more sense to you um, on top of that, all right? So we got into that, focus on that, um, and sticking to one reading style, which don't, um, and always to read upright first. Stick to one reading style and things will just, once you master that, then you could go to another reading style. Um, and one last thing, I'm almost done. Don't ask the same question over and over again, for goodness sake. Seriously. Um, will me and him work out? All right, so for, if it says no, if you got one card and it says no, don't be like, but will it work out this time? Will it work out that way? You're gonna get yourself self confused and it's gonna be hard to really get an accurate answer. You can ask the same question, but give yourself gaps of times, not hours, not days, but gaps of times when things kind of change and manifest differently, all right? Um, that's one of the problems I had in the beginning. I will ask the same question over and over. <laughs> all right, sometimes we wanna see whatever the hell we wanna see. If the first card, we'll say it didn't make sense, even though we know the meaning. Um, but really, don't ask the same question over and over again. It would just make you go like this, all right? If anything, ask the question, write down your cards of what you got. Go back to that, you know, a few days later and still see what it meant and if you feel the same way about it as well. And practice, practice, practice. Get your friends, practice on your friends. Um, don't only practice on yourself. Um, practice for your family, other people. That's how we all start. We all refile the people, um, barter, trade readings and stuff. And it'll, 
and write things down. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Just put it out there. Um, and that's what I have to say. <laughs> Hopefully this helped all of you. I was talking like 10 miles an hour, um, but hopefully it will help everyone who sees this. Thank you all for viewing. You can catch me on my website, www.emilymo.com. That's my website, my YouTube, my Facebook. Just put my name in Google. All my information will come up. Everything is all out there. All right? So take care, guys. I'm on loose. Besos. Bendicion. All that good stuff. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.